Hey everyone, Surreal Canine here. Welcome back for more Disguise 4, Promise Revisited. In the last episode, we met Fuka's father, Genjuro Kazumatsuri. We found out that, yes, Fuka really is dead, and Desuka really is her sister, and uh, Genjuro is a mad scientist. <laughs> and he's working alongside Judge Nemo, just for business reasons. Let's go confront him, see what's up. True final weapon! Heck yeah. You foolish human, why don't you just start the main event already? You're so impatient. Do you know that the final moments of your lives are just around the corner? Well, see ya. Doctor, it's all you now. Sure, you talk big, but uh, we have a level 100 Desco. I don't think it's going to go quite as you planned. Dad! What are you gonna do to us now? You might not know this about me, but I'm kind of a movie fanatic. Remember that one about the dinosaur clones? Well... That movie inspired me to create demon clones. And this time, I collected only the highest quality selves from those clones to create this one. The ultimate final weapon. The true final boss. The true final boss? Finally, the time has come. Desko will meet her. So you know who it is? The true final boss? Yes, she is the completed form of the final weapon that defeated Desko and cast her into Hades. The bio lizard? No, wait, that's the prototype. Never mind. Wait, are we fighting Shadow the Hedgehog? Desco, perfect version. Her name is Des X. As per Toho tradition, the little sister is always stronger. So she is the main event? The true final boss? She looks a lot like Miss Desco. A lot? The only thing different about her is the color. Yay, palette swaps! Was that a cost-cutting tactic by the creator? <laughs> Don't ask me! Go ask my dad if you really want to know. That sure was a laser. That you are a mere man made monster. What's wrong with calling scum scum? I am the most powerful, true final boss, Lady Desex. Desex. <laughs> well, well, what a surprise. I didn't know who to expect, but. I didn't think I was going to see two of the punks I killed before. Two? Why do you keep getting in my way? Do you want to be killed again? Huh? Why is that? Desko? Fuka? <gasps> ah, so it was you. You were the one who attacked me. I killed you with my own hands. That's two witnesses now, including your father. And this time, it's the killer herself. Last, it's been proven already. You are already dead. Now, if only she exploded no, as soon as he I said that. Rutil, maybe you should punch her. Then she'll explode. So you haven't realized it, huh? 
How annoying. Okay, well, I'll just have to kill you over and over again until you accept it. <laughs> Be my guest. Hey, that's kind of like what Valvatore has said to the uh, the chief of information. Shut up! I am totally not dead, and this is just my dream, so it's impossible for me to die. That's right. Plus, Big Sis has Desco, and Desco will not let Big Sis die. You tell him, Desco. <laughs> Listen to you, Desco. Have you forgotten how? You Killed so pitifully after trying to keep up with my functionality. No, see, she's been level grinding since then. You haven't. Never. That memory is embedded inside Desco's memory chip. Desco isn't the same Desco you faced back then. Desco will not lose. Are you saying you've been training in Hades or something? Give me a break. You're kidding, right? You're just a prototype. A test model they created in the process of completing me. No matter how much stronger you've gotten, there's not even a one percent chance for you to defeat me. Hang on a second, phone. The mysterious number of mystery. Also, probably a robot. That's not true. Desco is my little sister. Me, who's going to be the ruler of Earth, and Desco, who's going to be the strongest final boss. There is no way this golden and gorgeous duo will lose to you. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, Desco is so happy. Desco is feeling more energized. This must be the power of friendship. This is a great lesson for a final boss. A final boss that uses the power of friendship. Pretty great. Mm -hmm. Finally, this is starting to feel like the main event. Everyone! Let's win this battle for Desco and the Lass! Know your place, scum! I'll kill all of you if that is what you wish! Okay, meet Des X. She's a final boss. She's got a. Uh, she's got the same attacks as Desco. She's got the same uh, abilities as Desco too. She's got fifteen thousand HP. That's pretty great. But she's only level seventy-eight, so uh, we got this. You can get out of the way, let the I'll other main characters power. through. I shall re-educate you! Here I 
Of course, uh, Artina and Fenric here are the most likely to die, but never mind that. Did that Geocube move? I, Yep, it moved. Judas, you say. <laughs> There's a name you never hear anymore. Counts as a new special attack, even though it has the same name. Go figure. Alright, Martina, you mega heal yourself, I guess. We'll show you what happens when you make a real final boss angry. And her big sister. You can't ever forget the big sister. No, that didn't work as well as I hoped. Uh, Fenric! Go and kill! Uh, Val, you help too. Will this be a thing that works? Yep, it'll be a thing that works. Yeah, Fenric! Uh, that isn't gonna reach. It's no entry panels. Gotta love him. Alright, well, that's fine. Yeah, sorry about the anti-climax, guys, but, uh... But, but this is kind of easy. <laughs> this game is so essy! So, uh, yeah, let's get this guy a four, guys! his father for creating that thing. He created a final boss to destroy the human world. Does he hate humans as well? He was a weirdo to begin with, but I didn't think he wanted to destroy everyone. Maybe he just went crazy after mom died. You don't know anything. You have no idea. You don't know a thing about your own father. His thoughts and motivation, nor the reason why he became one of the villains. What's your problem? Why are you yelling at me? You don't know. Just because you're his daughter, you expect that you can act however you want and still be loved? In comparison, Desko and I are only artificial beings. We'll never be his real daughters, no matter how much we want to be. So, what's your point? Shh, Miss Fuka. Just listen to what she has to say. She might just be... I can't be his real daughter. I knew that from the start, but I still envied you. I hated you so much. So I killed you to make you disappear from this world. But you still had the nerve to come back afterwards. You're still trying to have daddy all to yourself. 
You really? Das X, Daddy is also Big Sis's daddy. It's sad, but we're. Shut up! Daddy is my daddy! He's mine and no one else's! Wow, you've got issues. Uka, Desco, and your stupid friends. You're all eyesores to me. Die! It looks like the game's not over. Huh? That's the reason you killed me? Screw you! Seriously! You really pissed me off now! Daddy, Daddy! I have no idea what you find so great about that stupid old man! I'm gonna beat you up and put an end to your fantasies! Okay. Fuka, learn the skill. Prinny Kaiser Double Cross! As for Jess X, uh, she's giant. She gained a couple levels. She's got a few thousand more HP. Shouldn't be too much of a problem, though. Right? Ooh, three transformations now. That's a way bigger Pringer X than uh, than what was in Disgaea 2, that's for sure. Oh, whoops. Did uh, did Valatoris get his face right? Miss! Really, Fuka? Well, uh, okay. Have another anti-climax, guys. One turn victory. Heck yeah. Internal Minister. Heck yeah. Power of drama. It's probably just an adrenaline rush or something. That's not important. I'm just really mad right now. You're mad? Please. There's no way I'll admit this defeat. I still see the energy in her eyes, as expected from the true final boss. That's right. Until I kill every single one of you, I won't. I won't! Ah! Desex has begun to regenerate! Great! We gotta fight her again! I don't remember equipping her with that kind of function! This is amazing! <laughs> amazing? Do you even know why she's able to do this, Dad? No, not at all. You're so stupid, Dad. You might be a genius scientist, but you're the stupidest man ever. If you weren't like this, this wouldn't have happened. Desco wouldn't have been thrown out! I... I didn't have to die. So you finally admitted it. It's about time. Indeed, it's settled that you're a pretty. <sighs> Shut up. That's not the point right now. I'm talking about Dad. After Mom died, you escaped into your work and left me all alone. You created Desco and Des X, but you ended up making them feel the same way I did. What are you doing, Dad? Don't you care about anything besides your research? Don't you ever think about our feelings? No, I... Big Sis, you don't understand? Daddy loves you. How can I believe that? Daddy talked about you all the time. 
Like how you wouldn't take baths with them anymore, how you treat his laundry like filthy objects, or how you stole money from him. This is just a big messed up family. Miss Desco, those are just simple complaints. Is there anything more heartwarming? Well, let me see. Oh, he bragged about how sweet you are at heart, even when you were in your rebellious stage in middle school. <laughs> he still has the portrait of him that you drew when you were five. He even showed it to Desco. Daddy's favorite story of you was when you two went to a summer festival when you were only four years old. He had to look for you for hours because you got lost, but you had already gone home by yourself. But still, Daddy was so proud of you for that. He said that you were already an amazing child by the time you were four. Hmm. Not that I remember. Everything he does is for you, including his research. You're the only one who doesn't know that. No, you're lying. He focused on his research because he wanted to escape from everything after Mom died. That was what Mommy asked Daddy to do, to continue his research, to make your wish come true. My... wish? Uh-huh. Me, Desco, the demon clones, we were all created for you! That's how much Daddy loves you. No, that's not true! Yes, X is right, big sis. Daddy loves you. He loves you with all his heart. No way! I don't believe it! What's my wish anyway? I don't remember wanting this. You don't? Oh, you used to throw big tantrums about it. Mm, pestering me and Mom all the time. You said you wanted a little sister. Oh, yeah, I did. But Mom died soon after that. Big sis. But seriously, you remember that from so long ago? And created these little sisters for me, Dad? That's right, Fuka. I created Desco in Desex just for you. Th thanks, Dad. The final weapons, Desco and Des X, were not created to destroy the human world after all. They were the fruition of a father's love for his daughter, to make her wish come true. All of the misunderstandings that had piled up were resolved, and the defeated Des X was finally released from her destiny to be the final boss of the human world. This battle where a pretty girl and the kinship between her family members had saved the human world in Netherworld would lead to the improved Prinny treatment movement in the future, which eventually led to Prinny War II. However, not being aware of future events, Fuka and her father simply enjoyed the reunion. They embraced each other, reaffirming their feelings of love and happiness. <laughs> Did you really think I'd be happy to have these freaking killing machines as my little sisters? What the hell were you thinking? But, but you're the one who wanted this. You said I want a little sister with advanced functionality who is gonna help me take over the world. <laughs> <laughs> Every little girl's dream. Yeah, you're just embarrassed, Fuka. Boy, I even have proof! Like the Christmas video! Oh, you five. No! This isn't- You're just all trying to trick me! Tesco has seen that too! Big Sis was so cute! Now I see. I didn't think you were normal, but I had no idea you possessed such ambition. 
It's only natural that you fell to Hades. <laughs> this is quite amusing. This isn't funny! No, no way! This can't be real! This is a dream! I know it! This is a nightmare! Enough fooling around, bastards! The hell's this farce? Fight, Desex! One more time! Kill them all! Then all of humanity! No way. This is getting kind of boring. <laughs> Plus, I'll only listen to Daddy. Why don't you do it yourself if you want it so badly? Don't say that! He's actually gonna do it! You... Who do you think funded your development, you useless puppet? <laughs> He's showing his true nature. This farce suits you rather well. Judge Nemo! Your ambitions have been crushed! Your Hades of destruction will never happen! <laughs> My ambitions have been crushed? <laughs> You've got it all wrong, Balbatorez! I've been setting up devices everywhere to prepare for humanity's destruction for a long, long time. He's not just a doomsday device maker. He's a serial doomsday device maker. You guys have only awakened another dream. A nightmare of demolition. The destructive might of Hades. A nightmare of demolition. That's right. I'm lighting a giant firecracker. The big round moon is gonna go kaboom! Look! Half the moon is gone? An unbelievably shocking revelation is dropped on us after we suppressed a foolish rebellion in the human world. Is he really going to blow up the moon? The truth is! Did you know that various kinds of fish larvae are used in Chirimanjaco? I thought Chirimanjaco was the name of an actual fish! <laughs> and there's more! It's the same deal with Kamage Shirasu! Ah! I thought the same thing about Kamage Shirasu! That's right! Shirasu usually refers to any kind of fish larva, but the larva of Japanese anchovies are the most commonly eaten Shirasu! Okay... so? Next time, final episode! The Sardine Galaxy! Space Sardines conquer the Sea of Stars! It's another page in the history of Sardines. I will stop the destruction of the moon. At least Fenric is serious about this. Whatever you do to that moon, I will unleash on you tenfold! Let it go! Now! <laughs>